In this series of videos, we've been talking about budgets. In this video, we're going to learn to prepare one of the most straightforward of the budgets, the selling and administrative budget. So let's work through the problem. If you haven't spotted it already, it's linked right below the video, so you can click on the uh, the video, uh, the link, and download uh, this problem in a Word document. You can work on it on your own screen, uh, but let's work on it together in this video. So. The question says, the budgeted unit sales for Doug Corporation for the upcoming fiscal year are as follows, and you can see the budgeted unit sales for April, May, and June are 20, 25, and 28,000 dollars respect, 20,000 units, pardon me, respectively. The company's variable expenses include shipping, sales commissions, and other expenses, and there they all are. The company's fixed expenses are advertising, executive salaries, and amortization. And whenever I read the word amortization, I always want to remind myself that this is not a cash expense uh, because, you know, when we an asset amortizes, we don't pay money related to that amortization. We might pay money to repair it or replace it, but amortization is not a cash expense. Also, executive bonus payments of $50,000 will be made in April and June and a major building repair of $75,000 will be made uh, paid in May. So the question says, in good form, prepare the company's selling and administrative budget for the upcoming quarter. The company is particularly interested in knowing its cash disbursements for selling and admin expenses. Now, I've prepared a title, name of the company, Doug Corporation, selling and administrative budget, and for the quarter ended June 30th, 2013. Uh, and you can see April, May, June are the months that make up that quarter. Well, let's start with our variable expenses and let's fill them in. So we've got variable expenses. And in our variable expenses, we've got shipping, sales commissions, and other. And to fill in the numbers is really easy. You just go, okay, well, shipping is five bucks a unit. I'm budgeting 20,000 units. So five bucks times 20,000 is 100,000. Again, that's five times 20,000 for the first one. I won't do the calculation for May. For May, it's five times 25,000. Five times 25,000, as we all know, is 125,000. And the last one, June, 5 times 28,000. 5 times 28,000 is 140,000. Sales commissions are 10 times, $10 per unit. So it's going to be 200,000, 250,000, and 280,000. And again, that's 10 times 20, 25, and 28,000. Uh, other is seven dollars per unit, so seven times twenty thousand. Seven times twenty thousand is one hundred and forty thousand. Seven times twenty-five thousand is one hundred and seventy-five thousand, and seven times twenty-eight thousand is one hundred and ninety-six thousand. So we've got all of our variable expenses: one hundred, three hundred. 440, 275, 550 for May and for June. What is that? 420, 616, I think. I'm going to go with that. 616,000, and we're good to go. So those are our variable expenses. On to the fixed. So total variable. And I'll just note that these are uh, selling and admin, SNA, selling and admin expenses. Uh, let's move on to our fixed costs. And our fixed selling admin are advertising 125, executive salaries, and amortization. Advertising was 125 per month. Our exact salaries, bosses always pay themselves the most, 200,000 a month. 
And uh, the last one was amortization of $100,000 a month. And just to be clear, this is amortization on the selling and admin assets. Amortization on our plant assets will be overhead cost, of course. So that's it for those monthly fixed expenses, but we've got some other fixed expenses. Executive bonus payments of 50000 in April and June. Executive bonuses, and they were 50000 bucks a month in April and June. So 50000 in April, zero in May, 50000 in June. And uh, building repair, 5000 in May. So 75000 for building repair in May, and zero, of course, in April and June. So those are my fixed expenses. I can total those up. And again, maybe I should be clear, this is total fixed selling and administrative expenses. But let's total up our columns here. 325, 3, uh, 425 rather, 475, uh, 500, and 475. Well, those are my total fixed expenses. I got my total variable at the top of this page. My total selling and admin expense or expenses 440 plus 475 that's uh, what is that 915 550 plus 500 that's 1050 616 plus 475 that is uh, 1 million and 91,000 so there's my total selling and admin expenses. And again, that was just gotten by adding my variable plus my fixed. Now, very likely the company's going to want to know, and in fact, they say they want to know how much cash they paid for selling and admin expenses. So what we've got to do is, okay, we've got our total selling and admin expenses, but in that we've included amortization, which is not for cash. So let's deduct out our non-cash expense. Let's deduct out our amortization which was a hundred grand per month. So again, 915 minus 100 is 815. 1050 minus 100 is 950. 1091, that's a nine, minus 100 is 991. And we've got it, our cash paid for selling and admin expenses. This will be the bottom line of this chart. Underline it twice. Uh, dollar sign on top and on bottom, of course, is missing. And finally, my totals column is totally not complete. So let's complete the totals. 100, 225, 365, 2, 450, uh, 730, 315 plus uh, 511, I think. So add them up 365 plus 730 plus 511. I'm going to need to use my calculator. I probably should have used it before. Uh, 365 plus 730 plus 511, 1606. A good way to double check that I didn't add any numbers wrong is to add it horizontally. So I'm going to do that because I, I wasn't sure I did those in my head. 440 plus 550 plus 616 is, yeah, indeed, 1606. So I, I did do it correctly. Uh, adding across here, 125, 125, 125, that's 375. 200, 200, 200, that's 600. 100 by 3 is 300. 50 and 50, that's 175. Adding this up, 
I get 1450. So 1606 plus 1450 is going to give us a total here. My computer froze for a moment. It's going to give us a total of 3056. We're going to deduct out our amortization, which was 300. And we're going to get our cash paid for selling and admin expenses of just over 2.7 million, 2.75 million dollars. And that's how much cash we're planning to spend on selling and admin expenses. Now I hope you're seeing how this is all coming together, right? This is our cash paid for selling and admin expenses. We know how much cash we're buying our supplies for, how much cash we're paying our direct labor workforce. We know how much cash we have coming in. So if we work these all together, as we'll see in our next budget, we're going to be able to track our cash coming in and our cash coming out to make sure we don't run out of money. Stay tuned for that in the next video.